I met Pyle, where you meet everybody, at the Hotel Continental. I'm there every morning at 11. I'm English. I have habits. I drink tea. I'm a reporter, so I listen. I have a lover. I like to watch her arrive with her friends at the milk bar. And there was Alden Pyle, a face with no history and no problems. The face we all had once. I'm Alden Pyle. I'm Thomas Fowler. The London Times. You've done your homework. Well, I've read your articles. May I join you? Please. And what brings you to Saigon, Mr. Pyle? Well, I'm with the Economic Aid Mission. I'm on the medical side. My specialty is eye disease. Do you know trachoma? It's very common here. It's actually very easy to treat and prevent. Are you staying at the hotel? No, I just uh, dropped by for a cup of tea on the way to the office. This is really a stroke of luck for me. <laughs> you know, uh, you're one of the few correspondents that has a reputation of actually going out into the field to see what's happening. Not anymore. Besides, I have never thought of myself as a correspondent. I am just a reporter. I offer no point of view, I take no action, I don't get involved. I just report what I see. But you must have an opinion. Even an opinion is a form of action. Still, I'd really appreciate it if you could take Pyle time was hungry for everything I could tell him about Vietnam and her fight for independence. Well, you can start by not why were the French losing the war? And why were the communists winning? Then he saw Fong. I should have realized how saving a country and saving a woman would be the same thing to someone like Pyle. We've got to contain communism, or what they call communism. What could I be done, it. what should be done, what he thought, uh, what he'd read. He made me remember there was a time when I had wanted to make a difference. Or is it to watch liberty snuffed out? Liberty is a very Western word. How do you define it for the Vietnamese? By giving people the freedom to choose. OK, you give them the freedom to choose, they vote and they elect Ho Chi Minh. Things are more complicated than they seem.